Well, now, um, here to discuss these issues is Claire Gerarda, the GP representative for NHS England. Right. This isn't going to happen now immediately. Uh, no. Is it going to happen for sure in six months' time? I would absolutely hope so. OK, so there's nothing wrong with the policy. It's just a question of the failure to communicate properly. Well, it is amazing that something that has the potential to transform the way we look after patients, something that has been signed up by the major patient charities in this country, and one of the only parts of the Health and Social Care Bill that the RCGP agreed to is having such bad press. My sense is it's caught up in the age of mistrust. It's caught up in a lot of noise that's going on around it, such as the mistrust are happening around Snowden. And actually, it is something that is very positive that will help deliver better patient care and better health services. Well, why have you so signally failed to communicate that to the public? And I think there is an issue there. Of course there is. There is. And I think there has been some failure to communicate this. But as I've said, if I was to, 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 back, to, to look at how we can do this again, which actually we are going to do, we need to have a, a re-look at it, a re-look at how we're going to inform the public of the benefits of this programme and actually start working with some of the patient organisations that are concerned about this to, to highlight the real so benefits to all of us. you admit you messed up the communication? I think there has think been an issue. I think there has been an issue with communication, Jeremy, but actually, and dare I blame the press, I think you have taken... Why? Blame the press. I think you have taken, not you personally. I haven't had one. Laura Kuzberg. We can have a poll of I all the technicians in the studio. I if you think like. when we get on the front page of major newspapers that the police are going to get access to your data, that this information is going to be sold to insurance company, that it's going to be sold for you, commercial purposes, I think it's it's misinformation. Can you give a guarantee it'll never be sold for commercial purposes? It will be illegal to sell it for commercial purposes. So there's no but, possibility of it going to drug companies. It depends what drug companies. Companies oh. want. Drug companies have, have can have access to data now. If a drug company puts in, excuse me, if a drug company puts in an appropriate research protocol, they have a legitimate reason to look at this. But we're not talking about drug companies to do it to then sell you drugs to drop on your doorstep a drug that, that you wasn't don't my want. My question, my question was whether you could it could be sold to drug companies. It will not be sold to drug companies. Right. But if you ask, would a drug company could a drug company have a legitimate use for information in monitoring long-term medications yes of course private health care providers private health care providers will not get the access to this data all of them again if a private health company wants to put in a legitimate research protocol that goes through the ethical and legal framework that anybody else has to then they may potentially have it if they want to do something so this commercial entities will potentially have access Commercial entities will not have access to this data in order to start selling you products to drop, as you mentioned with the pizza, to drop uh, advertising and material on your desk. No, neither that's you. you. You're the people who've done that. Neither with insurance companies, neither will the police. This is for legitimate reasons that for the first time in the history of the NHS will bring together data that's, that's collected by myself in my practice with hospital data. All right. The other thing that people are concerned about is precisely how easy it would be to identify them. David Davis has already cited one case. He's had his nose broken five times. He matched that up. number of people in the country with five times broken noses. Not very many. hundred or so. Uh, I think, uh, yes. I mean, if right. you want to take Match very... Match it to his dip diphtheria vaccination, you start to get a picture. Uh, I, everybody's had diphtheria right. vaccination, so I'm not sure how, you know, you Dates. wouldn't... If you're asking diphtheria vaccination at your date of birth, mm. again, it'd be incredibly difficult to identify. Will people's postcodes be disclosed? The way this information will be, will it, it, as your report said, it will be sucked up into a, into a central computer system. Postcode, NHS number will be taken up into, into a, 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 a centralised system in order mm. to link it with the data that we have already in hospitals. But if you want to use it for research purposes, which you will have to go through proper ethical and legal processes, that data will not be identifiable. It will be what's called pseudo-anonymised, scrambled up, and the only way you'll have is scrambled up data. When you look at an organisation like the National Security Agency in the United States, 
the most highly classified secrets in the world, and yet still a man can get in there and publish them wherever he likes. We can't have any confidence in these assurances you're giving. Well, you've had it for 25 years, and you've not oh, sorry, had... You, you can do a better job of keeping secrets than the National Security well, Agency. Well, fortunately, it, it's not my job because I don't understand computers, but for 25 years, there hasn't been a breach of information to the, to the level that you've just been describing in the National Security how many, Office. Do you know how many serious data breaches there have been in the last two years? I've been told, I, I do know, because it was on the front page of a major newspaper. Yeah, what were you told? Many of those data breaches were... What were you told? I think there was something like 2,000 a day, if I remember uh, yeah, rightly. 2,000, yeah, 2 million a year. Yes, and the vast majority Sorry, of those... Sorry, 2 million between the start of right. 2011 and now. The vast majority of those, the NHS, unfortunately, now needs to keep up with the times. The vast majority of those were notes being left on the backs of cars, data sticks, computers with, with information uh, not uh, encrypted. Mm. What this is about is a safe, secure, uh, legally binding system held within the information centre, which, as I said up till now, has not had a data breach. Thank you very much.